What's going on YouTube? I hope you can hear me. I can't be very loud because even though I don't really live in a neighborhood, I've got a lot of people that live right next to me, but this is the outside I'm going to show you to start for my Halloween decor. So when you come into my front porch, you see these little pumpkins here. Um, my cousin gave me these and you put little tea light candles in them and it's supposed to make the jack-o'-lanterns light up. I also have a fall flag right here. And I bought these purple and orange lights this year. They flicker. I had no idea that they did when I put them together and I thought that was pretty cool. I have a little pennant flag thing. I'm not really sure what to call it. Right here on the railing of my porch. It's black and orange. And I have some pumpkins here that stick in the ground. I have a Jack and Scally, Sally, not Jack and Scally, Jack and Sally pumpkin head up here. They both light up. I just don't have them lit up right now because they run on batteries and it's kind of annoying to run some of these things on batteries because they constantly go out, which you're about to see the example of what frustrates me here in a second and I will show you when I get to it. But um, here's another fall themed flag. It has uh, sunflowers and a watering can. And then just more of my lights, purple and orange, of course. And now let me take you over by the front door. So we have on my tree that I keep out all year long lights. And these, these were lights. They don't light up anymore, but I still keep them because my grandma gave them to me. And I still think they're pretty cute, whether they light up or they don't. I've got a little jack-o'-lantern thing at the top. And then, of course, some tinsel with bats and a mickey thing that i got in the mail and this giant jack skellington that hangs from my porch i usually have him over where my wind chimes are but this year i thought he looked nicer right here and he's like my main attraction i have this uh pillow that my mom got me that says happy halloween it has an owl on it and this chair is where Mr. Bones is going to sit when it, the weather cools off. It's too hot to keep him out here right now. But he sits in my kitchen during the year. Um, then I have these pumpkins in the window. And new this year to me are these lights here that I bought online. Target sold out of them and somebody was selling them. They say beware on them and they have ghosts. And then I found this other thing at Target. This, this pumpkin that says happy Halloween. I thought that was cute. And over here are all my fake jack-o'-lanterns. Now every year I do um, carve pumpkins and take pictures and I will carve them and send post some pictures on my social media and if I'm on discord with you I will put them in the discord channel as well but this is what I have right now. I've got a cat, a plain one, uh, one that my grandma gave me, and then one that I got at Target that's just ceramic, and it's got stars and moons on it. Now, over here is an, is what I mentioned as being a frustration. I have a light here. It's like a projector light. It does not like to stay on, but it's supposed to project trick-or-treat. And again, it's one of those things that's ran on dang batteries that annoy me sometimes, but it's hard to also get me to, or get it to show up, so I have to move it around all the time and coming into the front door I don't know if you how well you can see that but I have a custom made wreath that I got at Etsy and it's Mickey and Minnie dressed up as mummies and it says welcome to Lacey's house on Mickey's bag so let me take you inside and show you the rest of the decor decorations all right guys it's the next day because to be honest when I Film the outside, I was not prepared to bring you inside because everything was a mess, but now that I've got it cleaned up, I can show you everything I have. And again, this isn't everything because I have a really small house. So I have to decide what I want and don't want out every year. So this first item I have is my favorite. This is my Mickey candy bucket. It lights up and on the back it says trick or treat. I believe I got this a couple of years ago. And then behind that is this year's Bath and Body Works uh, bag. I get one every year. Of course, I've gotten rid of a couple of them over the years, but yeah, I like to get the ones they come out with every year. 
So let's start with uh, my TV stand. So this first thing I have is a Mickey uh, candy jar. He looks like a ghost. I really like the pumpkin one and I'm debating on getting it as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, this next thing is a ghost candy jar. I got this back when they were the big craze in Target. This next thing is just some random harvest blessing sign that I um, acquired, I think, from either Goodwill or my mom. And if you're curious, I'm watching Trailer Trash Tammy on TV. I have her muted, though, because I don't want to run into any copyright anything, you know, with her. But anyway, um, the next thing I have is from Bath & Body Works. It's a ghost candle holder, and I have the lid off because there's this cat that hangs off the edge of the holder without the lid on it. I got another jack-o'-lantern here, some an antique uh, witch, a uh, mug that says give thanks and it's got a fake succulent in it, another witch, and this has bats. This is a bat candle holder. And then of course that's not Halloween related, but it's my Star Lord helmet that I built. And over here, this is my gaming cabinet. And I made this wreath right here. I really like the lanterns that they have at Disney that they put out every year for Halloween and I could not find one online. So I just decided to take it upon myself and make my own. This one does not light up, but I just, I made it yellow inside to look like it is lit up. And I did the best I could on Mickey's face, but I made this a couple of years ago as well. Um, I was kind of proud of it. It does not fit on my front door because it's too convex. Um, it's too round and it ruins the screen if I try to put it on there. And then at Target this year, I found this garland with the ghosts on it and I decided to add that. And I have a Mickey mummy pumpkin, uh, or it's a popcorn bucket. I got this online. I really liked it and wanted it, so I, I got it online. Now, there's something special about these pumpkins. I'm going to hit a button on these pumpkins and let them do what they do before we continue our tour of my Halloween decorations. From my laboratory in the Carson East, to the monster bedroom where the vampires feast, the ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. They did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It got on in a flash. They did the monster mash. Those are like my absolute favorite. I got those a couple years ago, I believe at Big Lots. They had those and then they had the they had ghosts that sang something different. In my window, I have leaf and acorn garland. I don't remember where I found it and I string it in my window every year. And then this banner that says spooky that I got from my grandma. In my other window, I keep these Christmas lights up all year round because I don't really like a dark house. I like there to be some type of light when I go to bed. But added to the window during Halloween is this skeleton garland. It's sugar skulls, I would call them. And hiding on top of my pillow monster that I got from some website on in Instagram. I, I named him Cosmo because he's playfully the green color of Cosmo from the Fairly Odd Parents. But he is sitting um, on top of a blanket that's got jack-o'-lanterns on it that says Happy Halloween and hiding on top of him is Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Surf Service. I usually keep him in my backpack but for the weekend I've kind of let him chill in my living room just so I don't get him dirty or lost. And on my couch is a Mickey blanket that I had to get online. They were selling those at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I couldn't find them at any of them and I kept looking and I just eventually got online and found it third party. This pillow here is a cat and her tail hangs out from the pillow. I've got a pumpkin. I made this pillow with the cameras on it. And then another pillow that says Happy Halloween. And I've got a couple of pumpkins hanging from my wall. And new this year I bought is a mini blow mold light. Now I don't keep her on in here all the time because she's really supposed to be for outside, but I don't have any room to plug her in outside right now. My house is not modern. So what you're seeing out there is from an outlet I have in the garage that that, that powers everything on the front porch. And then I've got these blankets. I'm a blanket queen. So I'm, I've got more blankets than one person needs, but I, I had to have this. This is a bunch of Halloween 
cats. This is a plain orange one with pumpkins. And then the one underneath that is just a bunch of different ghosts. So now let me take you to my DVD stand over here. This lights up at night. It's a candle light. It lights up. It's on a timer. Um, here's the Hocus Pocus set that I did. Next to the Hocus Pocus set is a Count Chocula I got in one of those blind bag things. Another pumpkin candy holder and a trick-or-treat sign with zero on top. And then the fence, of course, that goes to the Hocus Pocus set with all the main characters. And up here, I made this sign. It is made out of stencils and ink. Um, I forget what the company is, but uh, my cousin's uh, sister-in-law uh, does this company, and she gave us these signs, and I made this one a couple of years ago. Up here, I have this new shelf I bought that's coffin-shaped. I got it at a site called Vampire Freaks, and I put some of my pops that I keep out for Halloween. I've got uh, Pugsley, Wednesday, Morticia, Gomez and Cousin It, and on top is Dwight Schrute with the pumpkin head on. And then over here I have Jason, and it says killing it. And then I've got all kinds of random things here. I've got another fake succulent that I got from Goodwill, actually. It originally came from Target. I've got this cat that I got from my grandma. I've got this other cat that says Hocus Pocus on it, and he reminds me of Binks. And I have this pop figurine of Jack. And then I have this owl with daisy lights. And then this year I bought a flaming flickering candle to try to put into one of my pumpkins when I carve them. And speaking of pumpkins, again, I will post pictures to Discord and on my social media if I carve any this year. And then I've got this action figure of Jack as the pumpkin king. I've got a Sally pop and a light up. Uh, Jack, uh, light up Michael Myers. He's got a knife in his pumpkin and the jack-o'-lantern lights up. And over here I've got um, the other two members of the Adams family. I'm, I'm having a blank right now. I usually know everybody's names. Uncle Fester and I, I forget. I'm sorry, so forgive me. I'm drawing a blank, but we've got Uncle Fester and we've got this other character with Thing on the tray. And I have this candle holder in here that's got a fox and a squirrel. That's supposed to light up and, and um, have leaves going on in it, but I don't have batteries in it right now, so it's not going. I've got my Dead End Motel, and what I've added to it this year are these tiny skeletons I found at Target. I thought they were really cool, so I put them on the front of the hotel. And then I bought these three children this year at uh, Target as well. And then I've had this thing. I don't know where I got it, but it's a statue with a ghoul and a girl. And in front of all this is a big Happy Halloween sign on my piano. And then over here we have the iconic Disneyland Mickey, Mickey pumpkin. And I have a couple tea light pumpkins next to him. And then surrounding this uh, hotel are different trees. There's one that looks like candy corn. There's some with uh, ghosts attached to them and bats some with just leaves, and then I have a little bit of a garland thing going on around the motel itself. And then one thing I have in, left in here is another jack-o'-lantern I got at Target. He also is battery powered and lights up. Now let's go into my kitchen. Now the notorious Mr. Bones is sitting here. He will be sitting outside eventually. I have dressed him in a scarf a purple necklace. My grandma just got me this towel and said it was for him. He's got an eye patch, my pirate hat, and I put my pirate boots on him. And in this candy corn dish are a bunch of treat bags because I plan on making a bunch of candy bags for people at work. So I'm going to do that towards the end of October. I uh, have some fake flowers here in a jar and a pumpkin. And then I've got a Mickey pumpkin cookie jar and another pumpkin that I'm not sure where I found. A random sign that has a bunch of Halloween stuff on it and a ghost tower. And then covering my chairs are these towels. One of them says, what happens at the Halloween party stays at the Halloween party. And then this one says, home, sweet, taunted home. Now, I don't know where that hole came from, but I kept it because I thought that the hole added character and made it look even more spooky. Um, I believe my mom gave me these, and when she tried to wash this, 
and one of her malfunctioning washers, it ate it. But anyway, I have a Disney plate here and some Disney cups that were custom made on Etsy that I use for iced coffee. So I've got one here. I got this topiary skull at Target. I have another plate with Snoopy on it. And the centerpiece of my table is the Lego flowers that you can buy. Now you can buy several of these and put them all together, but I bought just one to use as a centerpiece. I have Zero and his house as salt and pepper shakers. And I'm going to be making some spooky treats, so I have some Halloween cupcake liners on the table right now. I have the salt and pepper shakers that I found at Goodwill. They were witches' feet. I have a ghost tie beanie, and then I painted this gnome here at one of those pottery places that you leave this for a week and come back and get it. And then I found this one somewhere. I've got a couple little tomatoes that I've grown, um, a pumpkin plate here, and of course tomatoes for my grandma some fall themed scrapers and a fox mug and another one of those candy jars that looks like a skeleton. I found this at Goodwill, believe it or not. And then a, another Disney plate. And then this one I have also got at Target. You can't find it anywhere. I have to be super careful with this one because he's kind of cracked. You can't really tell, but he's got some crazing going on and he's very delicate. On my stove, I just have a couple of bar towels that say Happy Halloween and one with skulls on it. Now let me take you to my bedroom, and then that will about conclude what I have for Halloween this year. My bed's not completely made, so I apologize for the mess. I didn't put my pillow back, but basically I have this fall-themed bedding. It has a pumpkin at the bottom and some plaid, and then I have... A blanket over here that says happy fall y'all and it's just a bunch of gnomes and then i've got some stuffed animals that i acquired either from goodwill or actually went to build a bear to make like i actually went to build a bear to make that several years ago i found this squishmallow at a drugstore i believe i found that at goodwill you'd be amazed at the amount of build a bears you can find at goodwill to be honest i just thought they were cute fall themed for my bed and then i've got a a, a, a pillow that says hey there pumpkin another goodwill find and then i actually made this one as well online this is jack skellington and he just sings this is halloween when you press his i think foot or one of his hands um i think that about about concludes all of my halloween stuff that i have in my house i will be posting a video for my christmas decorations as well i would like to thank you for watching subscribe and hit like for more um, I will continue to put some more videos out, but for right now, this is what I have. I might even do a video showing some of my activities I do for Halloween. Um, but anyway, this is what I have. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all having a great weekend, a great holiday weekend with family. And um, I hope that you, this fall brings you everything that you're looking for in your life. And I will see you all soon, and I'll be back with more videos. For now, this is me signing off.